hi everyone welcome back to the channel it's anna with you here and today we are in alvir we are in the residential area checking for some more hotels on the hill right next to the national park of our lovely benidorm area and we're going to check a little bit more and got to know some more hotels of this zone stay with me so first hotel we're going to check here is the sun palace hotel which is this one this is how it looks from the corner as i said this is the residential area on the hill but look at how high we are in comparing to the other area this is the downtown place of albir this is like the bottom and then these are the mountains so look at how high it is it's very difficult to go here with a trolley for example or if you're not used to do sports so apart from this it's a very good hotel but it's just very difficult to get until here this is the back like the um right side apartments this is how they look like every each of the apartments have their own terrace with some chairs they don't have some beds on them because these terraces are quite small but at least it has some chairs and a table to be able to chill and relax enjoying the sunshine as you can see on this side you can also get some sun and on the opposite one it's where you will get some more shade just in case you like to stay in a shade during summer this here on the top this one right here and here this is the upper terrace of this hotel this is a very nice chill out lounge and a bar where you can sit down and relax in the evening enjoying the night lights of our beautiful small village of albir from there you can also see Altea, Calpe and of course the Mediterranean Sea. And right now let's go towards the main entrance. I would be willing to say that it is actually open. But let's go and check. I think it is open. Yes okay so this is another one that's open and we should be going here to make an appointment of course to show you this hotel from inside because it's definitely worth it so first of all you have here on this side views towards the mountains and the residential area you have a few apartments that are giving towards the main entrance here basically what you have is a very quiet street with some residential houses and gardens so it's also okay it's a very quiet area and if i'm not if i haven't mentioned it yet this is a four-star hotel and this is how it looks like there are some people already coming right now it's a very good opportunity it has um, a complete spa inside together with the fitness room so if some of you want to go to the fitness room, even though you're on holidays, you're more than welcome. It's super complete and very nice and well equipped, as well as the spa area. And this is the main entrance of this beautiful hotel. Actually, there are some people from UK, I think, because they are English speaking, that are staying here. Hmm. Right now, they have some check-ins inside, so we're not able to go in. But of course, later in the day, or maybe if, uh, Monday, Tuesday, some work day, I will come here just to show you how it does look like from inside. But I already can tell you that this hotel has a form of U. Of the letter u basically it has like this building then it goes round and then on this side so in the center of it you actually have a very big terrace and some area just for some bathing and relaxing and this is the part of the um, hotel that i told you that has more shade <laughs> A ver, 
so this one here as you can see this part of the hotel will only have the sh the uh, sunshine very early in the morning right like until 12 mid uh, midday approximately and then all the sun will go let me show it to you like this so all this side will have the sun up until like 12 and then the sun will continue going like this towards the mountains and then we'll go down that side so this place is only getting sunshine in the morning first part of the day but it's also very nice in summer you would even appreciate it because once you come back to your uh, room basically it's not gonna be as a true sauna as the others will the ones that are on the sunshine there is a big uh, quite a lot of options here of the rooms i personally like most the ones that are higher up because you have nicer views but it depending it depends on the what the people like and on the wish of every person right here from this side we can actually see the terrace you can see it right there of course when we will go in we will definitely visit the terrace as well i will show you everything they have a very nice restaurant on the lower ground floor because the one when you enter it's not a ground floor it's like a first floor so you have to go one floor down there is a very nice spacious cafeteria inside as well just in case you want to have a drink or a cocktail or just have a small snack so yes this is a very good option although i would not recommend having a basic like ground floor apartment just because even though in this area we don't get many problems with thefts and uh, robberies but still so that you wouldn't be as uh, nervous just in case um, don't ask the ground floor apartments because higher up floors are safer for people that are staying in the hotels just in case to be sure so this is how the hotel looks like right now it reopened recently like a week ago approximately but we already can see a lot of people a lot of people going here and there is one couple more coming so yeah slowly but surely things are getting there And now let's go together and see the next hotel of our lovely area. Okay, so it's been like five minutes getting down this hilly road. The other hotel was there. We were going down this road all the way almost, almost down to the town. And here we have another hotel which is called Robert Palace. This is a three-star hotel that we have here in Albir. It's closed just yet, but it's going to be opening very soon. Hopefully, I'm going to put you the opening date right here on the screen. This is their restaurant slash um, bar slash cafeteria. And also here, usually right here on the terrace, this is where the night entertainment usually was held. Uh, but right now, as you can see, it's still closed. This hotel inside has um, some uh, UV rays, like a solarium inside. They have massages. They have also a um, hairdresser inside. But you have to book it in advance, of course. And this is how it looks like right now. They've already prepared a lot of tables inside. So this brings me some thoughts that they might be opening in the next week maximum. And these white chairs usually are the ones that they use here for the terrace for the cafeteria. This is their main entrance. 
and as you can see this is a three-star hotel right here you cannot see through these glasses because they are like you cannot see from the street but from inside of the hotel you can actually see everything this is the entrance right there on the left side there is a main reception area where they will show you and explain you everything about the hotel and give you all the details about your stay and right here on this side we have only a few apartments that have terraces I'm gonna try and get a little closer so that you could have a closer look these ones right here they actually are very nice because they have nice views towards these olive trees that we have here some palm trees and basically they have a view towards the green garden of the neighbor but still it's a lot better if you want um, not to hear as much of entertainment and be in a quieter area this is what you would get these ground floor have terraces but all the others as you can see they have like normal windows that you can open of course but them are not terraces so they don't have any kind of balcony just these ones do have some also of course there are some more rooms on the other side of the hotel which i'm gonna try and show you just a little bit because it's closed we cannot go in but this is the other side you have some rooms here overlooking like Mm, not much just we're looking some um, station gas station so I personally wouldn't prefer this one but it's also okay and right there at the end right there you have some waterfalls where it cascades very very nice not very big uh, but still entertainment area for children and adults I'm planning to get in with all of you to all the hotels once they will be opening and one by one check all of them and see how they look like inside if there's been any changes everything that you think might be useful for you but what i do want to say for now is that right there on the top right here they have also very very nice terrace the views from there are just spectacular to all the green area towards the mountains of Albir and Benidorm right there and on the opposite side they have views towards the small town although I would, wouldn't call it I would call it a village to our small village of Albir which is very nice And you can actually see all the nightlife, all the bars and restaurants with different lighting being open until late. It's just amazing. When you see the night town, even, even night city, night village, anything that has like a special magic overnight, I cannot explain it, but I hope you know what I mean. I just love how cities look like at night. It's something special. So let's check. They didn't have any information there, so I'm hoping it may be some information here. They says the gel is obligatory, like hand sanitizing liquid and stuff. This is the restaurant inside. This is how it looks like. It's more like a cafeteria, I would say, than a restaurant. Although lately, like last year when, when this hotel was still open, the other area was meant to be like a buffet, restaurant buffet. From here you can have a better look to the cafeteria. And... Here is the restaurant buffet, right there. I think they are almost prepared to be opening because everything is more or less tidied up so yeah they should be opening very soon and this is also the terrace that they have with these amazing old trees right here 
in summer this is just gorgeous when you sit down in a shade and enjoy the cocktail the only bad thing is that it's right near this uh, main like street that goes down towards the town center or village center how do you want to call it but still it's it's okay here they say everything that they have basically this is the name robert palace el albir albir is our village name there's a bar cafeteria restaurant buffet tropical swimming pool which is the one that they have outside um they have a dancing hall this is more for um like third age people that are coming here in winter sports gym x-ray uh, not not the x-ray oh my gosh why the x-ray why no the uv <laughs> then they have a sauna um they have massages esthetician which basically can do your makeup and nails and stuff like that and then the hairdresser and if you want to go to use the services, this is the road that you would need to follow. So you have a small like staircase right here. And this is where you have all the beauty things that you can do inside. And right here, I don't know why randomly there is a symbol of Spain, a big bowl. <laughs> anyway, so I really want to show you inside, but this is closed. I think there's someone here, but I just want to, I just want to show you. So right here, this is a parking lot where you can actually park your car just in case. I hope no one's going to yell at me saying, what the hell am I doing here? Well, if they will, don't mind that. So we're just going to go until here. I won't go inside just in case, but. From here, you can actually see the access. And right there, there are some sun lounges, very nice palm area. And there are some swimming pools right there. Right there with water cascades. It's not much, but it's very nice. And it has a green... Ooh, that was a bird. I got scared. <laughs> there is a green garden inside with non-artificial grass. This is a true grass. So that you could stay there and enjoy the perfect holidays. There are some rooms right here as well that are overlooking the swimming pool area as well as these ones. But these ones, the only thing that you can basically see are these beautiful trees right here and the rest of the town. I'm not sure why they don't close this entrance. This is so silly. They have... They have this one right here so that you couldn't enter the parking but this then this one here is actually open anyway this is only my logic don't mind but like this is a full access like i can basically go through here and just go and walk and film i'm not going to do that because i want to avoid problems and come here properly next time but still so that you know so right there as you can see the town center village center is right there this already here is the main street of our village so you are basically only a few steps literally from the main area and the beach is right there behind that building like two minutes walking easily right here as well there is a very nice bar i'm gonna try and show it to you this one right here uh, with the orange sign it's called the orange tree which is sports food and drinks place like a gathering place right here and all the other most popular bars and restaurants are right here in this area so yes you will be able to enjoy everything having the hotel just a few steps from everything that you might need here there's also a pharmacy right nearby also on the main street all the necessary things to buy supermarkets um, souvenir shops if you want to buy some newspaper or magazine to read everything is right here near this hotel this is a good thing about it it's very centrical it's not very expensive but you have everything you need because basically you don't spend much time in a room you don't need well some people might need a luxury room but others not other people just prepare to, uh, prefer to spend more money on the entertainment, on just going out, having some excursions. 
and a lot more other different more interesting things and prefer not to pay that much for a room these rooms are also clean they're tidy they're neat they are comfortable so why not it's also a very very good place to stay now let's head to one of the last ones hotels here in the area that i want to show you and this hotel is somehow different because these are apartments this is like an apart hotel but a very big one they call themselves resort although it's not specifically a traditional resort but I will definitely let you know about it a little bit more once we'll be going. This resort is situated on the entrance to our village in Albir on that direction. So we are heading there. So this is basically the other place that I wanted to show you, which is called Albir Garden Resorts. It's changed its name to Bike and Sports because it's basically centering itself as a place where the groups and sport groups can come especially for bikes football tennis boxing and stuff and these are apartments the entrance and the inside has been changed quite a lot for in the last year or so so it looks a lot nicer trust me than it was before i'm gonna try and put you the previous pictures of this place just in, so that you could compare and right now it doesn't even look like something familiar to me because i've used to work in this hotel before it's been changed completely so yes this is how it looks like let's go and ask i think there is my friend working here i think it's her so if it is her i'm gonna go and ask for us to film something 